Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part one, financial planning, performance, and analytics. We'll discuss about the inventory in this session, measurement, valuation, and disclosure of short term items, that is inventory how we deal with inventory, how we record them in the financial statements, what is the flow, method of flow we uh, use in the business, and how the errors in the inventory will reflect in our financial statements. So we'll discuss in detail about the importance of the inventory control, inventory management, inventory cost flow methods like first in first out, last in first out, average cost, perpetual inventory system, periodic inventory system, valuation of the inventory using, you know, the LCM, lower of cost of market, and LCNR, lower of cost of net realizable value methods. What is inventory? See, a firm buys the items, purchases different items for uh, use in the business. They are used in the business, used for the business, used by the business. Like furniture we use in the office, we use in the factory, we use in the warehouse. It is an asset. Vehicles, asset. Some equipment, machinery, okay, asset. But the inventory is a stock item which we buy to sell. In case of retail industries, we buy the finished goods like electronic showroom. We buy electronic items to sell. That is called inventory. In case of manufacturing industries, we buy a material, we transform into finished goods and sell. So, in case of manufacturing industries, the inventory consists of raw material, like in case of furniture industry, we buy plywood, glue, you know, screws, nuts, bolts, etc. Raw material, we transform this into, you know, the tables, sofas, etc. finished goods. If this transformation is in progress, we call it as work in progress, semi-finished goods. Okay, raw materials are transformed but not reached the stage where we can sell them off. Still, we need some activities to be performed on these materials to become, you know, finished goods. So, raw materials, work in progress, finished goods are treated as inventory in case of manufacturing industries. Now the question is whether it is a retail industry or a manufacturing industry, how do you deal with the, the, the inventory? How do you manage the inventory? Inventory management is nothing but safeguarding the inventory. So we spend money to safeguard the inventory. How far the inventory is safe? How far the inventory is safeguarded from the damages, from theft? Okay, right? So we need to have some, you know, security measures it can be like uh, you identify you identify uh, the people who are going to be taking the responsibility of the inventory so this is accessed by only uh, authorized employees there will be a restriction so they only will have an access to that like in a case of jewelry shop you will have some authorized employees who will have access to certain assets in like IT. Yeah. And uh, in some retail industries, uh, they maintain some kind of, you know, cabinets where they classify the high priced items, medium priced items and low priced items. So the high security will be implemented on high priced items. Okay. Medium and load. So based on the value of the inventory, we will have some kind of 
security measures like locking of high priced items in a cabinet so that this will be accessed by only you know the authorized personnel some companies may use you know the surveillance cameras two way mirrors security tags if you so go see and uh, in malls and all the products are attached with a security tag without removing that you cannot move out of the showroom that gives some kind of beep a sound so that they can catch hold of the shoplifters maybe some areas you have security guards like a jewelry shop etc so different uh, measures are taken by different industries based on the value of the goods so in all these cases the primary objective of the inventory control and every organization is to safeguard the inventory not only that the value of the inventory should be properly reported in the financial statements the income statement the balance sheet and all it is a regulatory requirement when you prepare your financial statements your inventory should be properly valued when you pre present them in the financial statements so in the inventory you will have a document flow like when you buy the goods you will place a purchase order your intention to buy the goods all right when the purchase order is raised with the seller seller will deliver the goods with a commercial invoice also a delivery order or delivery note all right so this delivery order is going to be verified and uh, signed by the person who is receiving the goods so when he receives the goods he will prepare a note called goods receipt note so this list of or flow of documents will give us an evidence that this inventory is stored at so and so place we want this inventory a purchase order or intention to buy the goods a commercial invoice given by the vendor a delivery note submitted by the vendor along with the goods delivered a goods receipt note prepared by the recipient or receiver of the goods in our company so a receiving report establishes the initial record of the receipt of the goods okay so based on this we will have the inventory information in our books now we want to check whether really this inventory exists or not on a given date any any date like usually depending upon the value of the goods we will have inventory verification like in case of jewelry in case of banks and all they do it on daily basis in a um, uh, certain industries like electronic goods you know you can see some you know cloth industry and all they may take it on monthly basis so the inventory check or inventory verification is done uh, on you know some regular dates depending upon the value of the goods depending upon the nature of the business when we buy the inventory how do you record the cost what we spend on this inventory yeah whether the purchase price of the inventory what we paid while buying the goods or all the amounts which we incurred to to move the goods all the way from the supplier place to you know our warehouse from our supplier place to our warehouse so whatever the cost you incur until you receive this goods in your warehouse what amount you spent okay say for example you bought 1000 pieces of goods at the rate of 50 dollars each this is a purchase price you are going to pay to the supplier but you have some expenses at supplier place you have some expenses to transfer these goods to our place if it is a different country then you will have customs again loading unloading here at the port then you move the goods to your warehouse so all the way to move the goods from supplier place to our warehouse whatever the cost you incur that should go to purchase cost of the goods 
we call it as landing cost. Say for example, here the purchase price of the goods, what we purchased is 50,000 at the rate of $50 on 1,000 units. We paid a transportation of $2,000 right in, in means to bring the goods. Right in means the freight cost or transportation charges what we paid to bring the goods. Freight out means when we sell the goods, we want to give delivery to the customer or customer. So our customer is waiting for the goods here. So give him. This is freight out. It, it will go into selling expenses, not the inventory cost. This is a freight out. Okay. Then purchase returns. Among these thousand units, say for example, two units are broken or not ordered by you or not in a good condition. So unsuitable, you are going to return, say for example, $500 worth of goods. Then because you purchased 1000 units, the supplier is happy, he is giving you some allowance or discount, say for example, $300. This is going to be reduced. Yeah. So the net cost of purchases include 5000 plus 200 minus 508, 300, 5000, uh, uh, 52000 minus 800, 51800 is the net cost of purchases. So the value of the inventory is 51,800, but not 50,000. 50,000 is just the purchase price at the supplier place. Not the, you know, the inventory value. The inventory value here is 51,800 in this example. So this way we should calculate the net cost of purchases.